This episode is the advanced option number two, and we're gonna be looking at a very slight difference with the mechanics today. This is gonna be the false grip position. So the idea with this episode is we're gonna be looking at what we call the false grip. Now the idea with the false grip is we're trying to replicate a muscle up position or a climb up position and also the way that you use gymnastics rings as well. With the false grip position, we are going to change our grip on the bar. Where we would normally be grabbing the bar like this, actually what we're going to do now is go past the bar and we're now going to be in this position. So the reason this is called a false grip is because actually, so your fingers are gonna come back, you're not actually gripping the bar. It kinda looks like you are, but this is false. You're not gripping the bar, you're going past the bar. So the key is that you are on the wrist and this is gonna take the entire load of the body weight or the pull up that you're doing. So the reason for this is that if we were climbing up onto a wall and the wall was flat on the top, we would actually be in this position. You would actually be, be putting your entire hand over the top of the wall, trying to climb up or on the wall with this position or this position or essentially there would be very, very hard because by the time your forearm is flat and straight, you would have to change your hand position. Now we're gonna look at climb ups and muscle ups in a different series, but for today, we're going to be looking at making the pull up slightly harder by practicing this position or this position. You're gonna see that I've rigged the GoPro up here, so you're gonna get a much better view of where my hands are going to be. So both hands are gonna be over the top and I'm gonna be bringing my fingers back. So I'm not in this position, I'm going to be in this position, okay? So again, from here, dead hang position, pull up and back down. With the fingers pulling back, the idea is that they're gonna stop you from slipping downwards and back into this position. The fingertips are pushing back into the bar and they're gonna stop that slide. Why do this? With the muscle up, the muscle up can actually be done a couple of different ways, but one of those ways is with a false grip position. So when you're doing the muscle up, you can actually start in this position and you're going to pull up and climb up like that. The second pro for this is that if you're practicing climb ups, you are also practicing the position that you would be climbing up on, which would be a flat, open hand like this, so imagine that the bar is actually the top of a wall, your hand would be flat on top of that wall in this position. Again, the pivot point would be at your wrist, so your wrist would be where the pivot point is, not on the edge of your fingers and where your knuckles are. You want that wrist to be the pivot point and that is the bit that you are going to move up and down on. So this different mechanic of just changing the position of how you're gripping the bar means that you're gonna start becoming a lot more functional with that pull up. You're going to be able to start thinking about transitioning into those other movements and it means that you're gonna be able to take your body weight on that wrist portion and you're gonna find that a lot of the weight is going to be applied to the bottom of the thumb and the wrist. I also mentioned rings. So with the gymnastics ring, the way that you want to do muscle ups on rings and other different types of movement, you would also be holding this in what we call a false grip. So with this, the idea would be, I shall turn it this way, is that the edge of your wrist, so this section here, the, the crease of your wrist is where the hand would hold. So you can see that it is like this false grip position as well. I'm not actually holding the bar, I'm in a false grip on my wrist here. And this is how you do the pull up on the rings as well. So you would be in this position, 
and you would pull up. And then if you wanted to move into the muscle up, what happens is the ring turns out and you can push and then you come back into that false grip position. So one of the bad issues with this is that this slightly different mechanic is gonna feel a little bit more painful. Because your body is not going to be used to using this wrist as a pivot point and as a position to take load, so your body weight, it's gonna start by being very, very painful at the beginning. Now, we want to try to get used to this. As long as you've got to be able to make sure that you're not causing damage to yourself and that the pain is not because you are putting yourself in the wrong position, you're actually physically hurting yourself, you want to feel um, the kind of pain that you get from a lot of exercise or the type of pain where you know that it's not actually damaging you, it is just something you're not used to doing. So on top of it being slightly more unpleasant being in this position, there is actually a second part to this that actually makes this a little bit more difficult. So when your hands are in this position, what will happen is, because your hands and fingers are pulled back, your forearm is automatically turned on and it is automatically tense. And you're gonna find that you, you're not gonna be able to hang very easily in the bottom dead hang position in this position. And you're gonna find that actually holding the bottom position is gonna be very tough to hold yourself on and dead hang on the wrists. Lastly, because of that position where the false grip is going to cause the forearms to keep switched on, it means that when you're at that bottom near dead hang position, everything is still switched on and it means it's going to be easier for you to kip and bounce back up into the next repetition. And you really don't want to do that. You don't want to be bouncing onto those ligaments and bouncing on those muscles you want to control it down and control it back up without having to bounce up and down. Try and get away from that, even though it's going to be easier for you to do because you're not going to be in that relaxed state. Try to keep it under control and try to keep it so you're at a very steady pace. So hopefully you've got something out of this advanced version. This is, as I've said, a very slight, small mechanical change but it will make things a lot, lot harder with the pull-up. However, it will mean that things are gonna become a lot more functional later on, and it's gonna translate over to those other movements within parkour. So you really want to try to start getting used to doing false grip on the bar and false grip to try and climb up onto things.